Welcome back guys sa aking channel. This is Freud West from Pinoy Bix. Okay, this is our problem for today. Find the coordinate of a point equidistance from 1 and negative 6, 5 and negative 6, and 6 and negative 1. So our choices are letter A, 2 and negative 2, B, 3 and negative 2, letter C, 3 and negative 3, letter D, 2 and negative 3. Before we start, so sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe sa aking channel, so please subscribe and don't forget the bell button. So without further ado, let's solve this problem. can solve this problem in 4 easy steps. So, number 1, you need to create diagram para ma-visualize natin yung ating problem. Number 2, equation. So, kailangan natin makapag makabuo ng equation. And our solution, lastly, our final answer. Let's proceed to our diagram. Based on the problem, so ito yung ating diagram. So, sa ating Cartesian plane, eto, so ang una lang gagawin natin, ipaplot natin yung ating points. So, P1, then P2, and P3. So, yan yung mga coordinates ng mga point. Then, ang hinahanap natin is yung point dyan sa Cartesian plane na yan, uh, wherein uh, may value siya ng x and y na hindi natin alam. Then, mayroon tayong distance 1, distance 2, and distance 3. So, ayan na. So, I hope guys, na-visualize nyo yung ating problem. So, balikan lang natin yung ating uh, main problem. Find the coordinate of a point equidistant. So, pag sinabi natin equidistant, equal yung kanilang mga distance then from point P. From this, makakagawa tayo ng equation. So, yung distance 1, pag sinabi yung distance 1, so equivalent yan sa distance 2, then equivalent naman siya sa distance 3. Again, oh, the, three, the three distances are equal. Para makuha natin yung value ng x, posit tayo dito sa ating first uh, equation, yung, yung ating relationship ng D1 sa ka D2. Ito na yung D1, so equivalent sa D2. By the distance formula, then we just substitute values. Sa D1, so we have yan, 1 minus x, then squared, then negative 6 minus y squared. Then sa kabila naman, so we have a square root of 5 minus x squared plus negative 6 minus y squared then square root. So, ang goal natin is matanggal yung ating radical sign. So, matatanggal natin yan by uh, squaring both sides. So, we have remove yung radical sign. So, ang matitira dun sa ating kaliwa, so we have so 1 minus x squared plus negative 6 minus y squared. Then, sa kabila naman, so we have 5 minus x squared plus negative 6 minus y squared. Okay, so next, mapapansin natin na yung uh, second term niya. So, it, ito, sa ayan, equal. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang tanggalin. So, matitira doon sa kabila, 1 minus x. The quantity 1 minus x squared, equivalent to 5 minus x squared. So, next, ang ating gagawin is, kailangan lang natin expand yung ating binomial. Okay? Expand natin yung ating binomial for the, we have yung ating uh, square the first term, 1, then twice the product, minus 2x, then square the last term, square the last term. So, ganun din sa kabila. So, we have 25 minus 10x plus x squared. So, again, si dito, papansin natin ulit yung x squared natin. So, cancel natin yan. So, ang matitira is we have negative 10 sa negative 2. So, matitira, we have 8x. Then, we have uh, 25. Then, ito 1. So, equivalent sa 24. Then, just divide both sides by 8. So, matitira is x equivalent to. So, meron na tayong value ng x. So, hanapin naman natin yung value ng y. Papaano, papaano natin magagawa? Since meron na tayong value ng x, so punta muna tayo dun sa, sa ating equation and isolve naman natin yung relationship ng d2 saka d3 by clicking here. So, yung d2 is equivalent to d3 by using the distance formula for d2 and d3. So, ang kailangan lang natin is substitute yung value. For d2, we have 5 minus x squared plus negative 6 minus y squared. For distance 3, so we have 6 minus x squared plus negative 1 minus y squared. Squaring both sides, matatanggal natin yung ating uh, radical sign. Ayan. So, ang matitira for uh, left side, for distance 2, so we have 5 minus x squared plus negative 6 minus y squared. And sa kabila naman, ganun din, 6 minus x squared plus negative, quantity negative 1 minus y squared. Since, ang, nakuha na natin yung value, di ba? Dalawang variable kasi ito eh. Dun sa unang equation, d1 is equivalent d2, nakuha natin yung value ng x. So, kailangan natin lang natin is substitute yung value ng x. Dito sa ating d2, so we have uh, substitute yung 3, 5 minus 3 squared plus, then expand lang natin yung ating uh, binomial. So we have squared the first term, 36 plus uh, 12y, then plus y squared. Sa kabila, ganun lang din. So 6 minus 3, then squared plus expand yung ating binomial. So plus uh, 1, then uh, twice the product, negative, negative, positive 2y plus y squared. 
Then, ang result natin, mapapansin natin dito yung ating y squared. So, makakancel natin yung ating y squared. Sa left side, so we have, so 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, we have 2 squared, 4. Then, plus 36, so equivalent to 40. Then, plus 12y. Then, equivalent to, we have uh, 6 minus 3, 3 squared. So, we have 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 2y. Then, uh, combine like terms, so now we have 12y, saka 2, so we have 10y. Then, sa kabila naman, 10 minus negative 40, so we have negative 30. Then, divide by 10, ang matitira is y is equivalent to negative 3. So, ayan, meron na tayong value ng x and y. So, we have x equivalent to 3, y and x equivalent to negative 3. So, from the choices, hanapin natin yung tamang sagot. Ang sagot dito sa ating choices is equivalent to... 3 and negative 3. So, letter C. And, para makita natin yung final diagram, so, punta lang natin yung final diagram. So, we have, ito na yung point, no? Andyan sa sa, point 3, negative 3. At ang distance 1, distance 2, distance 3 ay equal. Okay, this is our final answer. Bago tayo matapos, isang mga sigabong palakbakan naman dyan. Okay, ayan. So, sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, so, please subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video.